Now, Penny, last time we saw you, of course, uh, Rod had spoken out about his prostate cancer diagnosis. Yes. And, and having fought it, and he's doing well, but how are things at home now? How yeah, is he and himself? They're fantastic. He's everything? actually just done a stint in Vegas. Um, he's flown to New York for a charity event and gets home on Saturday. My goodness. And there's no there's slowing never, him down. There's never yeah. any stopping <laughs> yeah. But um, a, a terrible time and episode for all of you. Uh, yeah. And you did choose to keep this very private. Yeah, and we're, and we're very lucky and, um, that, that any news that might have escaped was kept private and, you know, until it was our choice to come, come out, as it were. And uh, Rod was performing at a prostate cancer event with the faces. There was Ronnie Wood had had um, lung cancer a few years ago. There was Kenny Jones, the drum mood, had prostate cancer. And there was his best buddy, Jim Cregan, that was originally with Rod Stewart Band, prostate cancer. And there was the, the front man, Rod Stewart, and after a few songs, he said, um, hi, everyone, thank you so much for coming. And um, I, I have to just take this moment, cos I think I owe it to everyone. I am a survivor, in, and in July, he got the all clear. There's no trace at all. Yay. So that's really exciting news. And uh, he just wanted to give the message out to all men, especially over 50, you can actually go and request to get a PSA um, blood test, which will give you a little indication. It's not a sure result. But if, the, if there is a sign that the, the readings are elevated, then they can monitor it. And if necessarily um, is the case, then you can have further examinations um, rectally, which isn't always an awkward thing for men mm. to talk about, but it's very, very important. So there's no letter that comes like we would get for a mammogram no, or something or a is, smear test? No, which is awful, because one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. And as women, we get a screening. Um, letters coming through. Please we're come much in, more aware get of screened. it, aren't we? We're yes. much more willing yeah. to talk, but I think, as well. But unfortunately, men don't get an offer to come in. They, you, you can request it. Mm -hmm. So, really, that should move. So, how did you find out? How, where were you? How did he we discover it? We were in London, it? and he, he's very, very up on, on his health. You know, right. he doesn't believe in retirement, wants to keep going forever, so he's always getting screenings and tests. Well, I guess and he I, has to get insured, doesn't he, to as, go on tour? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and the thing with the prostate, it is a bit of a silent killer because if you're over the age of 50 or particularly over 60 or 70, like he is, um, as your men age, their prostate gland does enlarge and it press on the bladder, which causes men to get up in the mm. night to go to the toilet. But that's also the same sign as if you might have cancer. Mm -hmm. So most men think, oh, it's just old age. They, you know, don't want to shy away from that. But, but Rod had a few symptoms when he had his PSA tested. It was slightly elevated, but there, there are complications to having um, the rectal exam and then if there's a lump, doing a biopsy. So they said, let's just monitor it. But it started moving quite quickly, the results, the numbers. So they said, look, you know, we, we best do a biopsy... Oh, no, um, a rectal exam, which is, for men, as I say, it's an awkward thing, but it's the only way. Women can fill their breasts for lumps, men can't, so a doctor, a specialist, has to do that. And they did find a lump. And then it was like, right, OK, well, we can't ignore this. Um, doctors recommend that a biopsy... So we took a course of antibiotics, and a biopsy can cause infections. Um, and... You know, we got the shock news that it was cancer. Um, we looked at the different ways of dealing with it. One was to have the gland removed. Um, another was chemotherapy. Another was radiation, hormone treatment. So was it quite aggressive? Because it, it was. It came on yeah. really quickly. A lot of these cancers can can be living in within you many many years and grow qu quite slowly, which is it creeps up on men. But with with Rod, it was an aggressive one, and, it, and instead of just remaining in the gland, it actually um, left the gland it, it, um, and travelled to the outside tissues. Um, so that was another scary moment where we had to have more invasive tests and scans to see if it was anywhere yeah. else secondary in his body, which was the most frightening yeah. um, test of all. But... Um, but, but it hadn't gone yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how did, you, how did you deal with it yourself, Penny, as, 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 as a family? Um, yeah. well, gonna, it was I'm obvious gonna I was going to get upset. It's, yeah. it's, it's an you emotional... You got upset when you were telling us this morning. Yeah, yeah. Know. you know, we kept it quiet for sort of two and a half years now. Um, but the positive news is um, we caught it early enough. Um, so, knowing that he travelled outside, we couldn't have the gland removed, but um, 
we could do intervention and we had a three months course intensive every single day of radiation and Rod and I were traveling into London at the same time every single day going to the clinic and Rod's never done you know he's one day one week uh, the same ever in his whole entire life so he kind of put a positive head on along with myself and uh, into the clinic, the, the nurses had a little room for him. We'd sat up at his computer and he'd be right, this is my day in the office. And he yeah. would, you know, do his so preparation. He was, and... he, he was quite positive, wasn't Extremely he? Extremely positive. Just which... very quickly, I just want to ask yeah. you, what you, how did you deal with it with the children? Um, well, with the kids, we told, we told the older ones, but it would, it, you know, two and a half years ago, little Aidan was only you know, five or six, mm. so it would be too much. And when Daddy finally told everybody with the good news... With the good news and exactly. to get the message out done. there, for guys out there over 50, go and ask, do get it. the test. Do it. Then we told the little ones. <laughs> well, like you say, he's doing great. He is. And uh, we've got a message from the man himself. Hi, my girls on Loose Women. It's Rod. As you can see, I'm in New York. Just a few words about prostate cancer that, you know, I've just been given the OK. Guys, please get down to the doctors and, and get tested. It's a rotten disease. It gives you no warnings, no symptoms. So unless you go to the doctors, you don't know if you've got it. So, you know, finger up the bum, no harm done. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, he is the it's a serious message, but you've got to be light-hearted about it yeah. because it is serious and men do have to. Yeah you know, get tested. It's the only way of curing the disease. Because one in eight men will get it. And unfortunately, every 45 minutes, a man will die of prostate cancer. Yeah. So come on, guys. Women, help, Let's too. Let's just yeah. do it. Thank you so much. And thank Rob for the message as well.